everybody, Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got another gift bag. Um, this one is pretty standard in terms of the main bag itself, but the detail is very different. Um, so I've got this really fun tassel, which I love. I do like making tassels. This one's a bit more of a brush. I've not curled this one like I usually would, so I quite like it. Almost like it's like a broom, but I think it looks quite cool just straight. So it's entirely up to you if you want to curl yours. Um, but the real cool bit is these handles. So if I just bring them up. So inside, I've just played around with the colours and I've got this um, fluorescent yellow on the insides there. Um, but it holds itself like that. And I saw this, this is a handbag in a shop and it just gave me the idea. I thought, brilliant, that's so easy to do. Um, and you can see how it kind of, i me get my lighting here. It's got like little loops there where they go through. But the good thing is, is that when it's up this way, they fall down on the side. So you could do it up and have that hanging down. You'll see, that would be hidden up underneath like so. And then you can just pick it up like so and carry it. I think it's really fun. And as always, it folds completely flat, which I love. So just bring it out there, you can see. So again, a fun one to make. If you just like making stuff that you think, oh God, I've got no more room, you can make this and store it away easily. So this is what we're gonna do. Um, the papers I'm using, let me grab, oh gosh, did you hear that? That was a load of dyes just falling on the floor. <laughs> Never mind, deal with that afterwards. Um, this is the Simply Creative 12 by 12 Stargazer. I haven't um, used this one yet. So this is like, um, reminds me of the Etch-a-Sketch. So I thought that was quite fun. And then the one I'm using today is this one here, which is just like the, kind of the galaxy. It's all a bit, yeah. Well, it is, it's all that kind of um, theme, the stars. The, the midnight sky, the galaxies, planets, um, astronauts, um, yeah, it's a really fun one, moons, yeah. Okay, so that's the one we're going to use there. Again, I'll share all those links in my blog. Just bring all of this over, pop that to one side. So you're going to need, to make the tassels, I've used these loads of times and I've shared links, but these are just these vegetable cutting scissors to make life easier in the kitchen I guess. I've never ever used them in the kitchen. They make your things look, your fruit and veg look fancy. Um, but they're perfect in the craft room for making quick tassels and just for having um, strips, cutting strips and you know having funny like decorative edges and stuff. So they're really handy to have. So again I'll find links for that for you. Right so we need two pieces of 12 by 11 and a half. Yeah, by 11 and a half. The reason why it's, um, I've cut a little bit off is because along the 12 inch side, I've created a half inch tab. So it then means the whole bag itself is 11 and a half. So that's why you've got the 11 and a half that way. So that's those two, two pieces. Then to make your tassel, you need one piece of two and three quarters by whatever default length you have. So whether it be your 12 inch card, your A4 card or your letter paper. Um, it's entirely up to you, it's not going to make too much of a difference. Then for the little um, kind of loops that the handles sit in, they are one by six and a half, so you need two of those pieces. And then I've just got these tiny little bits which were to decorate the tassel. Um, again, if you do want them, I've got this silver piece which is three eighths of an inch by, um, this is going to be cut right down, so when I get to that bit I'll tell you, and then another piece is half an inch. But if you want to get them prepped, I've got them roughly three and a half in width, both of them. Um, you need some ribbon for your tassel and then you need some circle dies. Now you can make your handles any shape, so I'm doing circles, but you could have squares, you could have stars. Maybe I should have used stars for using stargazer paper. Um, it's entirely up to you. So ovals would look nice because you can get your hand in them quite well as well. Um, rectangles again because they're obviously longer. Um, what other ones have I got? Diamond shape, that'd be quite cool as well. So yeah, you can really make these really quite fun, but you need two, and my largest one is four in diameter, and the inner one is the next size down, which is three, it's about three and three quarters. Um, so whatever nest of um, dyes you've got, and whatever size suits you, because that, won't, that will fit in this bag, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so starting with our two main pieces of card. Um, let me just make sure because I've got one bit that's got the full score line. So I'll do that one first because this is the back. 
one because this has got the full score line on the back. Okay, so scoring along first of all the 12 inch side, you want to score at half an inch and at four inches. Then rotate it so that little half inch tab is, on, is running along the top and it should be now your 11 and a half inch side. And you want to score at three and a half inches and at five and a quarter inches. Then rotate it back so that quarter inch tab is now on the left hand side. And you want to score at two and a quarter down to that first score line. So that one that we've just, ooh, just done there. Okay, so that's all the scoring on the back piece. The front piece is pretty much the same, but we're not going to do this one of the score lines all the way through. So again, along the 12 inch side, you want to score at half an inch and at four. Then rotate, so that half inch tab is running along the top and it's the 11 and a half inch side. And again, you want to score at three and a half. And then the five and a quarter, you want to score again, but past that first score line and down to the second score line. You don't want to go all the way down here because this is the front of your bag. Whereas on that other piece, we went all the way down because that's the back, that's the piece that's got the crease line for us to fold it flat. Okay, so that line, you need to score it. No, you don't, you don't even, yeah, if you don't want it to fold flat, you don't even need to do the five and a quarter line on this piece or the other piece. It's only if you want it to fold flat. Then rotate it back again, so you've got your 12 inch side and that quarter inch tab on the left. And score again at two and a quarter down to that first score line. If you haven't done that score line and you want it to still squeeze shut, then I would just score this down to six inches, which is where this is. Okay. Then grab your piece here for the tassel, so the, whatever length it was by the two and three quarters, and you want to score along the two and three quarter side at two. So basically we've got a three quarter inch tab here, which is what we're going to um, use to glue and um, roll the tassel, and all of this is going to be cut with the scissors. So that's all of that. Keep your stylus, I'll just get rid of my board. And again, if you are wanting it to fold flat, then with a ruler, if I just, right here, so it's quite hard with this paper, isn't it? So let me burnish it actually, that'd be much, much easier and then you'll know what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna burnish all of my score lines, like so. Okay, so this is this piece here, and this is where we scored down to either six inches or that first score line that you would have done. So from that score line here, you want to score from the bottom of this middle score line here. You want to score down to the corner of where we've just burnished. So you're just scoring down to this corner. And then that's our tab. You're going to score the other score line. Can you see where I've done it? Down to that corner. You can see them there now, what I've done. So that's that one there, that's the one that you're scoring down to the first score line and then we're going to do this little triangle. And again this is all just to help it fold flat. Now I will just put a little pop up now, up here, um, of the other tutorials I've done where I do the same technique but you could probably see it better it's just because of this really cool print. But um, yeah, it's not, it's not doing me any justice on the camera. Um, then with the other piece, so this is the piece where we've got that other line running right the way across the back. So I'm gonna burnish that one and the other one. Then my tab and that one. So you see now we've got that piece. And then that line here, so the top one, that's the base. Again, you've got that score line running down there. From there, you're going to do another. You can see where I've already done them there. And the score line from there to there, and there to there. Okay, so it's just to that on the left hand side here, it's just going to that half inch score line there. And then on this one. On my blog, I'll draw a picture of this. So you'll be able to see it as well. If I flip it over, you can probably see there as well what I've done. Okay, but all of that is just if you want to fold it flat. So don't worry yourself too much if that's not what you want to do. Okay, so keeping with this piece now, I'm going to grab my scissors. And with the tab on the left hand side, you want to cut up the very first, that very first tab kind of score line 
just up to your first score line. I'm just going to cut that on a slight angle just so it doesn't overhang and then cut up the next one again just up to the first score line and I'm just going to take out the lumpy score line itself like so okay so that's what you should have and then I'm going to do exactly the same on this piece so again along the bottom with the tab on the left hand side just cut up like that one okay so again i've just removed all of that bulky score line you should have two pieces like that so now what we can do is i'm just going to grab my where's my other glue oh there it is okay so i'm just going to run some glue along one of the little half inch tabs there and then we're going to stick this down so grab this other piece and you're going to stick it over the top make sure you line your top up okay more than anything because you can you can kind of doctor and sort out the rest of it but if your top isn't all lined up it's just going to look a mess so and i can see all my other score lines are all meeting up here as well just make sure that glue is spread out like so and then flip the whole thing over I just and then bring this one over and that one over and you want to put glue along the other um, half inch tab like so okay and then just bring this one over and it should all line up perfectly like so Okay, so now we've got this nice bag coming together. Now with our base, decide which, oh no, it's not decide which is your front or your back. Well, I guess if you haven't um, done that extra score line here, so I know this is my back. If you haven't got that extra score line, then decide which you want, what you want to be your front or your back. This is my back, so I'm going to put that one down first. And then I'm going to stick these two side pieces on and then that piece up because that means you get a nice flat um, plain piece on the bottom okay so I'm just going to now put glue on my two tabs here and fold those in actually before I fold that in I've just had a thought I forgot to um, just on your little square ones here just take a wedge off each corner I never ever forget to do that oh, uh, schoolboy error there just cut that out see what I've done you're just creating a wedge it just means you won't get over any overhang um, easy to do and again like so okay so you can see what I've done there now again get my back so I'll put that one down first and then those two will go in and none of that is now hanging over the top okay Okay, and then that last one now will just sit over the top of all of that and give you a really nice finish. Okay, and then with my ruler, just can go inside there and make sure it's all nicely stuck down. I'm just going to give that a few minutes to set and dry before I fold it flat. But that is our gift bag base all done and ready. So now we can do the, I'll move that because it's going to create a shadow. So now we can do the handles. So I've already done one and I've got this pink here so again this is optional um, but I've got pink on one side and then I've got white and I've die cut the white twice so there's three die cuts all together it just makes it a really nice solid ring that you're going to have as your handle so I've already cut two more in white and I'm going to do a pink one now for you just to show you what you need to do okay so I've got my big shot and then pop the biggest one down and then the smaller one put inside you want to make sure you get a nice even gap all the way around with the two of them and then with some washi tape just hold them together just so they don't um, kind of budge slightly when you run it through I'm just taking some of this stickiness off on my jeans okay so just make sure that's all nicely even oh I've just moved it like so, pop a little bit of tape there and then I can just 
and run that one through. Okay, so depending on what weight card you're using, mine's about 200 GSM. Like I said, I've done it three times, but it's entirely up to you. Um, you might only want to do this twice. Um, don't matter about that piece, actually, I'm not using that. But then you get the ring. Okay, so that's how you get your handle. So pop that to one side. Pop all this stuff back. Okay, and then you just need to stick it together. So just with a little bit of glue, you just want to stick. You don't need a lot. I'm putting a very thin amount of my glue there all the way around. Like so. And then get one of these and just sit it over the top. And then I can kind of make sure it's all, I can see that it's all in place anyway, because they're so small. Just get this other piece on. Like that one. Uh, like so, and then pick the whole thing up and just go around between your finger and your thumb and just make sure it's all flat. And as you're doing it, just squeeze it like so. And then that way you'll make sure all the glue's all spread out and it's also even. Okay, so that's another ring. So they're the two now. So they're going to go. The pink's going to face inside. So when it folds, falls down. You've got the pink, and you just kind of just see. It. I just thought it was quite, quite a nice way to just add bits of colour, but without it being too much. Okay, so now we've got um, the tassel to do. So we scored along this um, one here, which gave us a three quarters of an inch kind of little border at the top here so with your scissors if you don't have these you'll just be doing lots of cuts but with these I can basically decide well I want to come in so it's even kind of width but I can just do one cut right the way up and that gives me tassels and then I come along again make sure I start with a nice with the right amount at the top sorry and you can see now I'm just going along each time, making sure I've got that equal piece at the beginning of each cut. And you can see just how quickly you can make a tassel. So these are inexpensive. I think I paid maybe three or four pound and it was on actually i got these in a charity shop I just remember it's because I've, I've shared them in previous tutorials and the links to them are in um, amazon and ebay um i think you can even get them in some of the department stores in the kitchen department but they might be a bit more pricier and the last one just make sure again you try and get it as even as you can if it's a bit thinner like that one is i'm just going to cut the whole piece off there at the end okay so don't worry if your end bit doesn't finish too well so now that is what we have um, so that was easy and then I just get my bone tool and just run it along just to kind of start to curve it so that then when we roll it it's just a bit easier now to do that you need to get your ribbon ready this ribbon measures um, what have I got here 11 inches but again it's entirely up to you how much you want to hang down but I'm going to fold it over on itself, so just double it up, and then it's, I'm going to put a bit in there and then start rolling it so that gets stuck and wedged in this and it becomes really strong. So first of all, I'm just going to put, start off that, just really curve that very first kind of, to style it off, because this has got a really kind of tuck in. So you can see what I've done there, really bent it around just so it makes it much, much easier to get that kind of fest bit off. And then just run glue all the way along this top panel, like so. Okay, and then with the ribbon, again, make sure it's all nice and even pop that at the beginning, put a bit more glue up over the top there, it's a little 
little bit messy this bit because you've got to so now I can just start rolling at the very beginning this is the, the hardest part once you've got it started okay I think I've got it and then just start rolling it up make sure you're always staying nice and level you don't want to start going off at an angle make sure you stay with this score line with the score line that you're rolling if you always make sure that the rolled piece is always lining up with that score line each time then you know that you've got it nice and straight okay so now you can see that's all nicely rolled up and that's all really neat and it's all level so it's not going off now if you want to curl all these pieces up just get your bone tool and start doing it or you can get your finger and thumb and do it but again I don't want to I do quite like it just like a slight little brush I think it looks quite cool so that's that piece done and then with those two little bits to decorate like I said I didn't know the, the measurement of this but start off where the join is kind of hold it down wrap it around and then go over by about quarter of an inch one eighth of an inch something like that and just snip it so now that comes in at, so it was half an inch wide by, it's about one and, yeah, it's one and three quarters, okay? And again, just get some glue and again, this is optional, you don't, but I sometimes think all these little, I know it's fiddly, but these extra little details just really do make all the difference to the overall look and finish of your bag. So that's that piece and then the silver bit again will be one and three quarters so I can just trim that now and I'll put that in my blog as well this is um, a Miri card so it's a bit thicker so I'm just gonna again help that along like so put a bit of glue in this one and again start from the join and this piece here will sit perfectly in the middle, giving you just a tiny little frame of that pink border. Sorry, not frame. Oh yeah, I guess it is a frame on each side. Okay, so you can see now how lovely that tassel is. I really like it. So now we need to grab our kind of um, hooks or loops for our handles. So. Grab your bag. Now that mine's all set, I'm going to fold mine flat just because it will make it easier for me to work with. So I'm just pinching in the sides and as I pinch down to that score line there, it naturally all just wants to fold and fall into place because of all those score lines. Okay, so that is now ready. And then basically, how far down did I come on this one? So it was two and a half. So, glue everywhere. So two and a half. I'm just going to grab my pencil and just put a little rough marker there at two and a half. I can rub it out in a minute. And that's how far down I want this piece to come. So the two and a half marks running with the top there. And then that's going to loop over and it's going to kind of mirror underneath the same. So you've got that size loop. So we can stick the front down first, but don't stick the back because you've got to put the hoops on before we do that. So I'm just going up to that two and a half mark, like so. And again, make sure it's nice and centered um, in this, on the bag. Just flip that over just so I can stick that down, like so. And again, with the other one, just gonna mark two and a half just so I get these lined up with each other. Again, pop some glue. Like so. Flip that over. Come down to the two and a half pencil mark and then make sure it lines up with that piece so we know that everything's all in line. Now, starting with, I'll do the front one because that would have set grab my ring here so I'm gonna have it so the pink falls down so I need it to go in like so so the white is facing out yeah that's right so now I'm gonna put some glue roughly 
again, well it's not roughly is it, it's two and a half. So again, just on here, just on that one there, I'm just marking um, two and a half there, because I know, again, that that's where I want to put my glue up to. Like so. And then I can fold that over and just look inside. And I can see where that two and a half pencil mark is and just all line it up. Like so. Okay, and that gives us that shape. So now I will rub that pencil mark out there. And there is that handle there. This is basically now just going to go in and then loop through. So that's really easy. Like so. Okay. And then I just need to do the same with this piece. So again, coming down, just mark it at two and a half. That's where I just want to put my glue. Okay. And before you do that, grab your ring, just pop it the right way so when it folds down and then just bring that one around. Line it up again with that pencil mark. And it all sticks down. So it's, it's easy to do, it's just a little bit fiddly. But you get a really nice effect. Like so. Isn't that cool? I really, really do like these. I think they look great. I think they're such a fun, fun little twist on a normal gift bag. So I'm just going to rub out the end of this, um, the pencil here. Okay, so there you have it. A really cool um, gift bag. I'm not sure what I'll call this one. I'll have to think about it but yeah I think they look fab so they are three and a half by was it eight what did these ones come in at in the end I think it was yeah eight by eight yeah eight by eight by three and a half so they're again a really nice size but yeah hope you like these ones um please as always give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye